Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today, um, I thought let's do another mill day video again. It's been a while, I know. Um, but, I mean, I've got some really great mill days I want to share with you guys. I've got posts from FedEx, which is, if it's in a big box, it's always good. I've got a small box. Look at it, very small, but lots of cool contents. And I've got, look at this, I've already ripped it open because I was impatient. But, I mean, this is a bit of, um, yeah, this is a bit of magic uh, history in here that I kind of want to discuss with you. I wonder uh, if a lot of you people will know about this, to be honest. So, yeah, that uh, that's going to happen in today's Mill Day video. So, stick around and uh, and let's explore. Let's rip some some postage open with me today in, uh, in Timmy Talks. Okay, um, let's get ready. Let's uh, let's open up the first package, shall we? This is a small package, and that is all to do with these four cards. June and Afrit. I mean, look at it. Such a cool card. A 3-3 flyer for three mana. And I've got a playset, and I've, I've had a playset for a while now. I just love this art by Christopher Rush, the colors. And a 3-3 flyer for three, which, of course, has to have a downside, because this is old school. So you got to pay two black during your upkeep, or the Afrit is destroyed. And because of this, it doesn't see a lot of play. But still, a 3-3 flyer for three, it's really good. And I guess if you play this, you gotta go mono black, right? Maybe a bit of a blue splash is possible. But anyway, I've decided to go mono black and I wanna combine that with the cards in here to make it even better. I was thinking maybe just, you know, mono black flyers or, you know, go with uh, cards like vampire bats, add those cards to it. Of course, you can also play hypnotic specter in that deck. Ooh, man, this is tough. I'm just going to get some scissors. If I can find them. Man, it's a mess. It's a mess down here. Let's have a look. There we go. I found it. There we go. So we're going to rip it open. So I haven't done a mail day video in a while. Let me know in the comments if you enjoy these. If you want me to just try to do them weekly again. Because I could. I mean, I'm still buying lots of magic. There we go. So this is the envelope. Nothing else in here. So let's open this up. So I got this uh, via cart market. There we go. Bubba sleeves. Okay. It's in here. It's in here. Yeah, there are the cards. It, they're bat moons. This should be a play set. And the thing is, when you order um, unlimited, the big question is always, is it really unlimited or is it revised? That's a mistake that's often being made. So Bad Moon, one black and one for an enchantment that reads all black creatures in play game plus one plus one. So if I combine this, I've got a four, four flyer turn three, right? Maybe I can even ramp up and do it earlier than a turn three. So we've got one Bad Moon, two Bad Moons, See if you can see it properly. Three bad moon. Oh, look at this bad moon. <laughs> this has seen so let's look at the back. Whoa. This has seen some play. Dang it, I like it. Wearing my black glasses as well with the black cards. Bat moon. So yeah, I want to combine this maybe, of course, with sinkhole, with vampire bats, with hypnotic specters, maybe also with Urk Raiders, which of course is not a flyer, but still it's like with a bat moon, you've got like a three, four creature for for two mana, which is insane. So I can I can, I can see potential. I'm thinking about I'm thinking about a mono black deck, but maybe you know maybe I'll show that on the channel once it's done. But um, yeah, I want to want to brew with that anyway. This is the first part of the mail day, and now let's uh, let's start with this big package, shall we? The FedEx package. You know, if 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 it's just one card in here, there's just one. One card in here, so you kind of know it's a good one if they send it through FedEx. This is ordered from uh, from Three for One Trading, which is also, of course, a sponsor of the channel, and uh, really happy with their sponsorship, by the way. But also, it's also just a good store. Like I order a lot of cards from it. There we go. There's the the FedEx envelope. <clears throat> And again, this is a, I already have one copy of this card, and I want to combine this with another card. Um, there we 
we go. So much stuff for just one card. Are we ready? Do you already recognize that? Boom, exactly. It is the Surrender of Freet. Such an iconic card. Also from Arabian Nights. The Arabian Nights, absolutely beautiful set. This is inked, apparently. Let's check it out. Let's see if we can find it. I don't really mind inked cards, um, as long as I know. Like, I mind if a card is inked and I don't know and I find out later. Like, that's really not pleasant, obviously. Um, but if I know it's inked and if it's still a really nice, beautiful card like this, I kind of like it because they look so good in the sleeve. I'm going to play with it anyway. So in case you don't know what this card does, this is Surrender Jin, two blue and two for a summon Jin, a five, six for four mana. So it's pretty insane. Flying, and of course it has a huge drawback because during your upkeep, you must choose one of your own lands and destroy it. And if you destroy an island in this way, Surrender does three damage to you. And Surrender is destroyed immediately if at any time you have no islands in play. So if somebody plays like a Tsunami, that's not great. Um, but it is a really cool card to combine with Lantex because Surrender is going to make sure that you just don't have a lot of basics and things, and that will activate Lantex so you can start looking up the lands that you want to sec to the Surrender. So this is really nice synergy. And I already own one copy, and now this is my second Surrender. So I'm thinking maybe playing a deck with with four of these and maybe three Surrendips. I think three is about the max. Or should it just go for the full four? Mm, let me know in the comments below. Let's say you want to play Surrendip Jin together with Lantex. What would your perfect deck look like? You know, help me out a little bit. Always looking to get some, some inspiration. But looking forward to, to also build this. Like I said, this is my second, so I feel like I need at least one more. And I guess I should also play like a Surrendip Afrit. Then have Surrender Jin and Surrender Perfeet, kind of an aggressive deck. That would be quite nice. Anyway, um, that said, these are my cards, but but there is also that mystery envelope. Yes, yes, the mystery. And I, like I said, I opened it up because I wanted to make sure it was magic related. And look at this, look at how cool. The Northwest Science Fiction Society proudly presents uh, Norwest Con 16, March 25th to 28th of 1993, annual Northwest Science Fiction Convention. And um, I thought, where is this coming from? And then I found this letter in, um, in the book. So let's open it up, which is, I, I just, I love it when people send me stuff. I really, really do. I really appreciate it. I have a big binder with all the cards I get, with all the stickers I get. I don't throw anything away. To me, it's, it's really a motivator to continue with Timmy Talk. So this says here, thank you. And I've already read it. I'm gonna share it here. Timmy the Sorcerer, I thought you might, let's check the camera, yeah. Timmy the Sorcerer, I thought you might enjoy the um, design or the magazine showing one of the early ads for MTG before Alpha. So this is sent to me uh, by old school Eric, who's on Instagram. I also love this Eric that you did this. So these cards I keep. And look at this, Wizards of the Coast. So this is an ad before Alpha got released. So this was really at the starting point. Let's just kind of look at this ad together. I'm just gonna read it. So it says, an art show and product announcement by Wizards of the Coast, April 1993. Open to the public from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Wizards of the Coast is about to release their best game ever. Yes, definitely. A series of card games by Richard Garfield known as the Deck Master series. The first game in this series, Mana Clash. So here it's still called Mana Clash, right? That was the, the name it was supposed to get, but they changed it last minute. Um, it's more than just a new game. It's a new gaming form. Not since the invention of role-playing has such an innovative concept been introduced to the table gaming market. And of course, now we know that, yes, it was really a revolution. But, I mean, nobody expected the, the, the success of this game. 242 pieces of high-quality color have been commissioned for this game from over 20 fantasy artists, including works by Anson Maddox, Mark Tadine, Jesper Mearforce, Melissa Benson, Mark Poole, Amy Weber, Jeff Mengus, Daniel Gallen, Dan Frazier, Sandra Everingham, and Andy Russo. 
Mana Clash promises to be one of the most visually appealing games ever published. So this is one of the things that I love about Magic is that Richard Garfield and Wizards of the Coast weren't afraid to invest. They invested in, in quality artists. And can you imagine, yes, Magic was a revolution, you know, when you look at it technically from a game point of view, the fact that everybody can play the same game but can have a different deck and a different experience, that's, that's a revolution. But I think what drawn most of us in is just, you know, the unique art of the game. I mean, look, look at a card like this, and I know this is not an alpha card, obviously, but, but just look at the art. I mean, Magic without the art wouldn't have been as successful. And, you know, to, to have that vision and to say, okay, I have a cool game idea, and, and that's on its own really good, but I also want to invest in art. That's, I mean, that's a lot of guts, you know, that you want to then invest in something like that. That's not easy to do. So uh, amazing. Like, can you imagine even for today, uh, if you would like, okay, I'm going to commission 20 artists. I'm going to pay them to paint art for a new game that, you know, I have zero uh, guarantees of this game. If, if this game is going to be a success, you know, even, even for today, that would mean a huge, huge investment. So really respect, you know, Richard Garfield and Wizards of the Coast and Peter Atkinson who, who just did it, you know, I mean, Think about it, it's more than just a game. You're also helping so many people, creative people, creative artists to get going with their careers. It's like, it's it's amazing. And today with all the AI crap, you know, it really worries me because they're, they're stealing from artists. They're stealing from, from people that have a vision that creates something new, you know? If you look at the, at the modern magic art, I mean, let's be real, you know, you can only use those colors, you, you got to use use all the computers and all that stuff. This is this is this is this is made by a person, you know, this is made, you know, without help from computers, without new technology that to me, this is the future, you know, and not not all that AI, you know, crap. Anyway, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm rambling on. Thank you so much, Eric, for sending this to me. It's amazing. I love the card. So cool. Um, I love it, man. Like I said, I keep I keep all these cards. I really appreciate it. Uh, this is going to go into my binder as well. Thank you so much. And this this is going to get a special place in my collection for sure. Thank you. And also thank you for watching another episode right here on Timmy Talks. Now, if you want to support the show, uh, please take a moment to like, share and comment on this video. Uh, let me know if you liked it. If you have any advice for me deck building wise, I'm always open. Like I said, I want to build this deck. And I want to build this deck. And uh, yeah, you know, let, let me know in the comments if you want to see more Mill Day videos like this or maybe a new collection video where I show one of my sets. Let me know in the comments below because I realize I haven't made those in a long time. Um, but yeah, I can I can make them again. Why not? You know, I really love doing this and, uh, and talking about magic. So let me know in the comments below. For now, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Somebody can see.